What is up guys, my name is Nico, otherwise known as Nico Nico Games, and I'm here with some more Life is Strange, and last time, uh, shit got pretty real, we got drugged and captured by our teacher, so, let's go see how this plays out. We're actually gonna have a recap, I totally forgot about that. Previously on Life is Strange. Oh shit. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? And Chloe died. Totally forgot about that part. Again. Like she always does. She always dies. Why is she always... Oh, yeah. I know why. But I won't spoil it. This is the last episode, so... Just in case nobody's seen it. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys had. You're just here because... I don't know. You think I'm cool, right? You guys think I'm cool, right? What the fuck are we? Oh, yeah. I keep, like, forgetting parts of the game and then, like, soon after remembering it. If that makes sense. By the way, that, that last recording, you know how I said I was going to be right back? That was actually a week ago for me. Like, all those four episodes I shot in, like, the same weekend. That was, like, a week ago. I know, I still pretty much look the same. I mean, I wear a lot of the same clothes. Like, I just always wear my scrubs and a black t-shirt because I'm always at work or school. So, that's probably why I look exactly the same from the last one. What is she doing here? Is anybody out there? Please help! Uh, right hand, detach. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> help! Somebody help me! Uh, 
<sighs> hey, we did something. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily free. I hate looking at myself like that. Oh, you that's pay us. for this, Jefferson. That was us. Oh shit. Uh, God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I don't think I can use any of this. Let's take a look at this thing. Of course. And right in front of me. Victoria. Wake up. Wake up. So... Oh shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. What else is there? Let's focus to focus on the photo. Oh! I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Use AD. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this. This the fuck highlights your purity, see. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ. Look at that perfect face. This is why I do not trust really hot Hold teachers. that stare there! Stay still! This is why I do not trust really hot teachers. This is... Uh, I just don't. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. Why is he using a video but I camera? I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. I guess that Poor wasn't Rachel. One. Wait. Let me try this angle. He tried so hard, but you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. This is so fucking it's just weird. Too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24/7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. 
Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now, don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. I know this is off topic, but I really like her shoes. Oh shit, so yeah, we changed the future a bit. broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. No. That picture isn't going to help. Okay, I okay. I, I can't go through all that again. I just want Wait. to see. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. All right. Well, let's take a look this at this, might I guess. work. Please work. Why I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet. Kate. 
Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I will I fuck want that you to dude up. That. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Fuck. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Fuck. I... Shit. I mean, yeah. He is as sick as... Yeah. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. Yeah, you should That makes two of you. I help Nathan realize his vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Oh, he shit, he killed him. it now, Max. I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart, a battered old heart. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... 
You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. There was a whole bunch of other dialogue that I didn't look at, but whatever. I think I hit it, but there we go. There we go. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, <laughs> that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. David? All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? This diary literally saved my life. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Uh, Found you. David Madison, okay, cool. So, five, 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 six, three, zero, eight, two, four, three. Okay. I hope I don't have to remember that. For remember. once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. Shit. My alarm went off. Sorry. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson... You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? You kind of are. Not gonna lie. It doesn't. I'm happy to fix it. So you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Victoria. 
It's nice to know how you really feel. Uh, my phone is dead and bored. Why did it? Because I suck, but Marshall rules. Everybody loves him, but he seems to care about Max. Well, I hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy, that's the car I will. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. <laughs> Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Rachel, I'm sorry. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I'd like to bust this up right now. Do it. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so <laughs> modest. This guy must be so fucking confused. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. He must be so confused on what the fuck is going on. He got arrested. Wait, what? 